My name is Blake Karasik. My thesis project was the vertical farm. It was a thesis project that I had done at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. The basic form of the building comes from the idea of verticality, so it needed to be tall. And it's set out in Lake Michigan because there's an abundance of water, there was no shading problems, and there's an added effect of light reflecting off the surface of the lake, uh, adding to the natural light. The form is also like a continuous coil or spiral, and it has to do with the fact that the building is sort of a filtration system in diagram. There's a combination of living units in the building and a perimeter double skin of growing spaces and a series of breaks within the spiral for larger, higher production community gardens. The idea was to use a structural system that was beneficial to vertical farming, which is not put the structural system on the outside with a series of columns, but to try to bring most of the structure to the center where it's going to be shadowed and difficult to get light. So you don't want to build a building that would get in its own way. This specific design, it was a visualization of what vertical farm possibly could be, almost a utopian idea of vertical farming. I am currently studying to be an architect. I am very interested in vertical farming from the architecture side. I would hope that in the future I would be involved in vertical farms, a design of a vertical farm, the production of a vertical farm, or the group effort of a university or a client to produce an actual vertical farm. We're not really waiting on technology. Technology has sort of makes this possible because we, we grow lettuce and hydroponic farms currently. We just haven't stacked them together. I feel the technology and the pieces are there. They just need to be combined. So uh, this is a, a vertical farm type O2. It has 12 six meter high floors of indoor farming space, which will total to 2,600 meters squared of indoor farming per floor. The look of the building is very important because the form actually becomes a function in itself. The first vertical farm designs are going to be making a big statement, a big impact. A lot of people are going to be criticizing them. The, the part of the design that I'm probably most proud of would be uh, the way the light gets in, the use of the reflective edge, the, the light shelf that, that goes around the edge of the building, really just in, in the way that it, it uses its natural light. The design is currently proposed for Taiwan uh, prototype, and um, if all goes well, we hope to see it within eco-cities within China within the next few years. Um, in architecture, because I, I love designing, but uh, I came to vertical farming through more of an eth ethical agenda, I suppose you you'd say. I think it makes you feel good to be able to try and use your your field of expertise to try and help help the world. If you can look at the world crises and come up with a, an architectural solution, then that's what drives me, yeah. As so architect, uh, we are working uh, for three years now on several projects of vertical farms. We are working on this cactus tower, which is a very high tower but with a very little space on the ground. It's a, a building that is optimized the, the, the sun, the, the, the light of the sun on every point of the, the, the tower. It's all made of glass and it's very thin so everybody from the street can uh, see uh, the farming is going on and, and, and the works which is a good thing for, for the city, you know. The Living Tower is a very strong project because it looks like a, a normal skyscraper, but uh, it includes some a farm inside. It is really architecture. The goal is to say, uh, can we invent a real architecture or is it only a technical question? We are working on the case of Paris city because Paris is, is uh, one of the, the most touristic city in the world and it, it's very protected so it's, uh, it's a good place to try to, to test and, and, and to try to see if we can invent an architecture of farming, of uh, vertical farming. 
My name is Meyer Harrell. I'm an architect at Weber Thompson in Seattle. The Newark Vertical Farm uh, is a concept for the city of Newark, New Jersey. Now, uh, we were approached by um, the mayor's office in Newark and their office of uh, community development. They were very interested in uh, this idea of vertical farming and are interested in initiatives for the city to look at new ways to uh, feed the urban population. So knowing that this idea is fairly untested, they knew that a facility would have to be created in order to test a few different systems. The facility that we designed for them at, at sort of a visioning level, at a feasibility level, was three stories of, of stacked greenhouse, a research a wing, and an atrium that separates the two of them, uh, and basically the atrium acting as a winter garden. We believe that uh, a vertical farm does have to start small. Starting small is our way of, of managing risk and really digging into the problem of how do you make a vertical farm work and how do you make it commercially viable. I think we have to be somewhat humble when we, when we move forward realizing that we're not going to get it right the first time. It's my personal belief that when you bring food production closer to where people are living and working and they can see it and touch it and smell it and taste it, I think you start to challenge that narrative right now that says that food is, is cheap. And I think that paradigm shift alone could be enough to change the way that agriculture works right now.